Hello, it's J Dark episode for May the 3rd, 2022. So, I started watching a couple of videos on social anxiety. Um, sort of social anxiety to do with media. Um, I've, I've, I, the first one, probably, uh, TED Talk, was the one that was one that was kind of the more interesting. The idea of social anxiety is about the fear of rejection. And um, if, you're, if you're so afraid of being rejected, you start avoiding uh, instances where you could be rejected. You become isolated. You, uh, you, you withdraw. You pick solitary hobbies like reading books or writing versus uh, team sports or things like that. And uh, it could be a little bit redu reductive. I mean, I love reading, so that <laughs> it's definitely a, a, an activity I'm comfortable doing. I don't know if it's only because of fear of rejection that I read. And probably not saying that anyways, but talking about helping people build social courage. And I mean, a part of this was let's do early intervention to steer kids away so they don't become messed up 50 plus year old adults talking to themselves in the backyard all alone about their social anxiety. That would be a fate worse than death. So we'll we'll go on. We'll I will go on. I will watch these videos. I will report about them. Uh have to watch out for the videos which are there's one with uh Dr. Mike, which seems to be all about people coddling their children and then um them going online where they get judged harshly and it it ends up them being basket cases. I yeah, yeah. We'll 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 take all this with a kind of a grain of salt of these kids today and all the the wrong things that parents are doing to raise those kids today. That that seems to be a little bit of a well, we'll see if it's a cult sack or not. I'll watch the videos and I'll try and I'll try and sift through also not get stressed out by watching the videos because it, indeed it is a topic that is close to home, obviously, which is why I'm doing some research on it, of, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, it's, it is a vexing topic, and I think it is one that is probably going to take me more than just, I think what I will do is, <clears throat> my goal for this month is going to be research how to feel more comfortable on the internet or you know and research core causes of why I don't feel comfortable on the internet and try and come up with a game plan for myself that's for you know this month well for this month it's research but next month it's like okay what are little things I can do and just sort of you know don't try and jump into the, oh, I'm just going to make a comment all the time and da, 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 da. no, I need to kind of go back from there. That, that was not a, that was not a success. I need to go back up a little bit from there because I'm still, still, uh, I've sort of stuck to my, to my private channel and its subscription feed for watch it being on YouTube. I'm not on booktube for the most part, except for, except for Steve Donahue who is such an alien being to me that I feel no stress, no uh, jealousy, no uh, er, er about watching him. He is, he is such an alien. He is an extrovert who does not seem to sh sh see any social anxiety and who, you know, he's, he's, he's just so, he's so much, somewhere on a different realm than I am, that it doesn't, he does not trigger all my own anxieties about, oh, oh, you know, 
and you know, he, he's, he's, uh, yeah, yeah. So I, for some reason, I don't try and measure myself against Steve Donnie. I just, just enjoy, enjoy watching him, which is nice. It's nice to just enjoy watching somebody. And I don't feel any pressure to comment on his videos because he gets lots of comments. He doesn't actually respond to a hell of a lot of the comments that are made on his videos anyways. So I don't feel he's he, he's not like oh, I need to leave leave a comment. So he's very relaxing. He's very relaxing that way, which is something to think about in itself of who's who stresses me out the most and who stresses out me out the, the least on on booktube. And why? And why? Yeah. Yeah, because I can think of booktubers who I'd be kind of worried about getting on their bad side. So that there's there's that. They seem they can get a little bit sharp and a little bit uh, kind of nasty at times. And you think, even though I like them, I don't want to accidentally str st either stress over getting into that. Uh, there's people that who, oh, you started after me and indeed... You know, uh, I was maybe a bit of an inspiration for them starting who have far surpassed me. So I definitely have a a little bit of a, oh, I, there's, there's, there is jealousy there. I don't know if it's jealousy because I don't want to do what they do. And it's because of what they do that they've gotten massive success and because they are very talented people. But there's just also a whole orientation that I do not share. But at the same time, it's, oh, I am not good enough. I, I start measuring myself against them. So all these variety of bear traps that I gleefully fall into all the time that is annoying. And I'd really like to stop myself doing this because it gets in the way of me enjoying, enjoying life, enjoying booktube life. All right. I've been Jay. More videos later.